Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be doing a haul. Oh my god, I think it's been that long since I've done one that I don't even know what they're called anymore. We have bits from MAC, Shark Horror. And I'm gonna throw in a few clothing bits as well, just so that you guys can see what I've been buying lately. So if you guys are interested, then please keep watching. I'm gonna just tip this out right now. Oakley doakley. So let's start with Urban. Not that many, and the majority of them, slash, or three out of four of them are backups. Um, I first picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation, full coverage, long wear, matte finish, and waterproof. I have the shade six. I already own this, I just got it as a backup um, because I love it. I think it's one of the best foundations on the market and that has ever, ever been on the market. I think it's awesome. And then I picked up two concealers as backups as well, again. These are the Urban Decay or Nighter range. It's waterproof, full coverage concealer, 24 hour matte finish, oil free. I have the shades Light Warm and Medium Neutral. Again, these are just backups because I think that these, this concealer is just the bomb. It gives you coverage, blends like a dream. It's all around a win-win, I'm happy. Then the last thing from Urban Decay was a eyeliner and it's in the shade Whiskey because I only have like one matte brown eyeliner that I love and it's just the brand itself, not even the product, the brand has been discontinued for years. And every time I use it, I'm always just like, guys, just use what you have. So I thought I may as well just pick up a brown one that is still around. So I thought I'd go for the Urban Decay Whiskey because I know a few people have it and I know people love it. So yeah, Urban Decay is just a great brand anyway. So it's a 24 hour glide on eye pencil, waterproof and long lasting. So now on to MAC, I picked up two of the same brushes, one for my brush belt at work and one for home. They are the 228S, the S just means that they're synthetic and they're just really small, tiny babies. And I think that they're really good for the inner corner, the brow bone and packing on pigments if you need to be a bit more careful. Um, yeah, everyone at work has got one and I just went, I want one, so I got two. <laughs> and then I picked up one of these because mine got robbed at work. Thanks for that, whoever took my brush. Um, it is the 286S. It's just a dual fiber um, blending brush. This is amazing for like the bottom lash line to kind of buff and like buff in there as well. It's just really good. And I was actually really good at, like that. That one got robbed out of all of them. I then brought three clear lip glasses because that's all they had in stock, otherwise I would have brought way more. Clear lip gloss is my favourite lip gloss of all time. I have one hidden at work that people don't know about because I love it and it's my favourite thing. And I tap it up about four or five times at work and I have it continuously at home as well. I have one in every room possible and I'm obsessed. It's what I've got on now. Just freaking love it. If you guys watch my vlogs or if you see at the beginning of my tutorials that I've got really, really glossy lips, it's that. Always. Um, I also picked up a new set of lashes that we do now, thank God, because we needed new lashes for so long. These are the 75s. So we came out with three new lashes. These are one of them. Um, the other ones are a little, tiniest bit more natural and the other ones are just very extreme. So I got these ones which are more up my street. Um, and they came out with some um, eyeshadow palettes to go with them, but we weren't allowed discount off of them, so I ain't paying full price, sorry, I'm not. Um, but I will be picking them up, up at a later date, but for now I've just got the lashes, which I'm very excited about. I got a backup of my favourite mascara, which is the Upward Lash Mascara. It is this one that looks like a lipstick bullet. It's got the smallest wand possible. Um, but I obsess over this a lot. I think it is, sorry, I just thought I saw something like flying in the air. <laughs> Obviously I'm a bird selfie. Um, it's like amazing for actually lifting the lashes. Like if you guys have like short lashes and like you just find that they're just not doing anything, they're kind of just going straight, Upward Lash is the best mascara. So I picked up him and I'm happy. To the back of a cork, even though I'm not even like a quarter of the way through the one I've got now, just in case. I always like to have a spare cork and if I ever lose cork, <gasps> I cry. And then we came out with that we didn't get in our store, which I was very peed off about. There were certain lipsticks like the cult favorites like Candy Yum Yum, Ruby Woo, maybe Russian Red, Her Heroin, Velvet Teddy, came out with like a monochrome collection to go with it. So we had the lipstick and then like a blusher, an eyeshadow, a shimmery eyeshadow, and I think that was it. That kind of like 
was the same kind of color so i picked up a few bits that were corresponding to them so for the heroin one i picked up the blusher which is called undercover heroin which i'm going to use as an eyeshadow because obviously i'm not i'm not wearing that as a blusher because purple won't suit me um but i got him to wear as like an eyeshadow and it's just kind of like a really nice light lilac-y purpley kind of shade and i just just fell in love and i'm really good that we didn't get the collection but i mean i got it in the end so that's fine and then the other heroin product i got was an eyeshadow and this is the matte one so it came with like mattes and shimmers um and this is the shade what a heroin so it's a little bit darker than the blusher quite a bit darker but it's still really 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 pretty and then i got diva was one as well so this is diva demands matte eyeshadow they didn't have a lot left in the liverpool store otherwise i think i would have got a lot more this one's more of like a burgundy which is so nice it's like i'm into it by mac already but kind of like more more burgundy basically even though i'm into it it's quite burgundy and then the other ones that i got were from the ruby root ruby woo so they've got walking heartbeats which is a matte and they should have made this permanent because we need like a matte red even though this is quite pinkish but still these feel weird because they're composed to normal but that's it there i'm excited as hell to play with these you guys oh and then holly frolly which is like a shimmery one it's a frost which is quite similar to ruddy by mac already but it's more intense and it's more softer so i really like this one a lot and i'm excited to do a, like a look with all those um that is it makeup wise that i've been, i've brought in ages the other bits are like clothing items so the first thing is this jacket which is a levi's jacket and i got it from ASOS and I love it Tom fell in love with it as well like it costs I think it was like 110 pounds and I was like Tom I like I, I either need you to talk me out of it or talk me into it because at the moment I'm like I want it but the price and Tom was like it's bomb and I really like it it's very like lightweight which is like perfect for like the time of year we're in now like spring transitioning um and it's just easy to chuck on it's black it's got like loads of color to it I love it and then I have a few bits from Primark. So I picked up another one of my favorite sports bras. Primark does my favorite sports bra, but they only do it in one color and one style, which is this one, which is kind of annoying. I really wish that they could. I like having colorful sports bras. I just feel like a little bit more like girly, a little bit more like fun, like, you know what I mean? But anyway, it's this black one here. It's like a racer back. It's got wires. It's not like thick padding, but it's just like no nip show padding. Um, I like wires at the gym because I feel like small boobs, you can get away with no wires, like, but big boobs, like, these are going to be, like, flying, even if you're just doing, like, a walk, do you know what I mean? So I like to have that because it feels a bit more secure. And then on the back, you've just got, like, a little fasten here as well. But this is what it looks like, and I obsess over this. It's my favourite thing ever. Um, it costs £10. £10, yeah. And I love it. I love it. I think it's great. The next thing I got from Primark was a t-shirt just to wear to the gym and around. Um, it's just a white v-neck t-shirt. I got an extra large because I don't like my tops at the gym to be tight because I feel like I'm very restricted. I can't like work out properly. So I got a loose one. I mean, an extra large one is probably just one size bigger than what I would have got anyway. But even though it'd be like a bit more suit, like slouchy um and i got white because i do like to wear white at the gym i feel like a little bit more brighter a little bit more like girlish um but obviously you will see the black sports bra after it because primark won't do a white one and no other brands do good sports bras that i like i then got the exact same top in black <laughs> which can double up as a work top which is great same thing extra large oh and they were both four pounds so it's just like a standard jersey top and then the final thing that i've been buying is a pair of trainers and yeah i'd call them trainers i am obsessed you guys just saw a little sneak peek then didn't you oh, oh i can't look 
how sexy these are. These are feelers. They're probably the Destructors. Are they Destructor 2s? Destructor 3s? What would they be? Destructor 2 platforms. So I love Destructors. I already own a few pairs of Destructors at the moment. Um, I mean, I love this color already. And you guys, I'm, I'm freaking obsessed with these. Look how small these are. These are a size 7. Don't you think they're gonna make my feet look tiny? They're a platform, which, you know, is always in trend, a platform chunky trainer. They're the neon ones. I was gonna get the black and wear them to work and I was like, screw that. If I'm spending money, I'm gonna get the neons because I didn't even know they did the neon. Oh, they've got a little bit of a mark on them. That's annoying. That's fine, I'll try and clean that off. Um, but yeah, freaking obsessed. But guys, that is pretty much everything that I've been buying. I thought I'd just do a quick little video of like a haul because I know that everyone loves hauls on my channel and just to kind of like ease me back in and just show you guys what I've kind of been collecting, which clothing wise isn't a lot. The most clothes that I'm kind of getting at the moment are just gym stuff because hopefully I'm gonna lose weight. That means that if I buy clothes now, they won't fit me, hopefully. That's the thing, like the fingers crossed. Apart from this jacket, I feel like, you know, because if, if it gets too big, then it'll just be like a nice oversized jacket. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys very, very soon.